Now here's a simple sequence that was put out by the Iyengar Yoga Institute of Manhattan. You can see more standing poses on it, which we'll do in a moment. But just keep in mind, you can use simple sequences like this to follow as well. Um, to find sequences like this, click on the links below or go to portlandyoga.com and click on our home practice page. So you may not feel that your, your home is very spacious in a way that lets you practice, but it, it can be pretty simple to have enough room to do your standing poses. For instance, if you see this space here, I have a little wood floor. If I just move my couch slightly, then I have enough room to do some some work. So if I, I could do downward dog here, it's wide enough for that. Because I'm near the couch, I could use the couch as a support and do uh, tree pose. I'm just pressing the hands on the couch. I'm resting my leg against the couch for balance if I need it. Certainly you can do away from the couch and do your tree pose. And I'm not trying to instruct a lot, I just want you to see that there's a lot of ways to make your space useful. So you'd have enough room to do any of the standing poses. Certainly you could lie a mat down here and do your triangle poses, your side angle pose. Feel free just to stop the video and just use the images of the poses that I'm making to make a little practice. You can use the couch as well as a support. So let's say we're just turning the legs and press down on the couch to get some support. And I can go to the side for triangle pose. Uh, warrior two. Or take the arms away. So you can do your different standing postures that way. If you don't have a wood floor, then um, if you do have a mat and the carpet is, feels fairly solid, you can just use a mat on a carpet to do some of those positions as well. Another way you can use supports around your house, even just to use the couch itself, Art of Tanasana, stretching back. You can join the feet and do Virabhadrasana three on each side that way. You could do Parjvala Tanasana, the standing postures or stepping back so that the couch becomes a support. So we're used to using blocks at the studio quite a bit. Um, we'll do some seated poses now. Just see how I stacked some, some books here. So that's about the same as a block. Um, a quilt I folded a few times gives me a little more height. Various heights to sit on. And then, you know, just coming up so that your knees can drop down and you can lift the chest. and. If I have one height behind me, then I can do some seated twist. Your Bharatha Jasana, just these are just to remind you some of the positions that we do. So just having one, in this case my right hip is up on the support, you can do your Bharatha Jasanas. One of my favorite sequences sitting, you'll see I'm sitting on the books at this point, I sit in Virasana, and then um, to go through all the arm positions that I can remember. So the bound fingers, this is good for the knees and the hips and the shoulders. You can use a, a towel or a belt or a, a necktie. You can 
catch your hands behind your back in Gomukhasana. Uh, catch hold of the towel. You can do the different arm positions. All these seated positions are great for the holidays because, you know, we tend often as families, we may sit and watch TV together. And you can, instead of just sitting on the couch, you could sit on the floor and do different seated positions while the <laughs> white Christmas is playing, right? While Scrooge is doing his thing. So you can do different seated positions like that. Okay, so just a few more ideas for you of how to work. All right, I hope that's helpful. Okay, so this is a little more of an adventurous pose. I'm, make, I'm going to do supported shoulder stand on the couch. I've set the pillows up. I've fiddled around a little bit. Um, don't worry if you can't get things to work out right away. Just reset them up and try a few things. The main thing here is I put the blanket high enough so my shoulders are lifted, my neck feels free, the head can rest on the floor easily, my hips are supported on the, on the uh, couch firmly, that I can take hold of the front edge of the couch and roll the shoulders down. So just see, you might have to put a little more height under your hips, a little more height under your shoulders, maybe put more pillows where your shins can come down, um, that you feel supported, then you make the length in the legs, the openness in the chest, and relax. In your Sarvangasana, you can stay for several minutes. And if you st can stay longer, then you can do variations as well. Say, one leg going up, um, both legs going up. And just observe each position, breathe. See how they feel and affect the body, Baddha Konasana legs. And it feels great. And when you come out, you just scoot a bit so that you can come down. I'm just going to scoot those pillows out of the way so my calves rest. And I'm resting that blanket under my hips at first. And you'll be back to be Prita Karani. And maybe you even just end the practice. Then rest your back and do Shavasana. Feels a little better with a lift under my head. thank one of my co-stars today. This is the Night Shark. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you got something from the video. Um, just remember, when you go to classes, you're with an experienced teacher. They're giving information, refinements, helping you to go further in your practice, to learn more. And it's not important to remember everything they say. It's important to remember what you remember. And in your own practice, as you start to shape a home practice, Work to uh, be in touch with the needs that you have and find positive effects for yourself, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, a half an hour. Uh, the length of time isn't as important as the quality. So look for the qualities in, of your positive effects for you. Tranquility, finding peacefulness, extension, space, finding vitality, and ways to work with your own energy. So I hope this helps and have a great holiday. We'll see you when we come back to classes on January 3rd.